Well, meanwhile, back on the marathon course, the same group up there. They've now been joined by an Estonian who's come through very quickly. Salume, fifth in this year's uh, Rotterdam Marathon. They're dropping back through the field. And the two Britons have just detached from that first group. Danielle Sanderson and Marion Sutton running together in about 20th and 21st place. The main group, the lead group, gathering a bit of momentum there. The race is on in earnest. Manuela Machado of Portugal. She really seems determined to make this a fast run race. And that group's getting smaller and smaller. And just a few minutes ago, the two Britons dropped off the back of that group. And as you can see, there are others going off the back. So the pace increasing as they go come up to eight kilometers. I think one of the problems is for people like Dora and uh, Machado, the bunch is too big. And there's quite a scramble going on when they're getting to the uh, watering station. There you can see 7.6 kilometers. Machado has been leading, been aggressive and been positive this whole race. And I wonder how much of an inspiration over the years Rosa Motor was to Machado. They used to run together a bit. They were a bit competitive at one point, but then obviously when Rosa established herself, Manuela Machado, I'm sure, would have been inspired by Rosa Moda. And that would be a great day. Portuguese distance running has, has been in strong shape since 1984 in the, the men's and women's events. And she is another one, maybe another one in that line. Right behind her, number eight, Lemmy Tynan of Finland. She's carrying a lot of local hope, and she really has been preparing specifically for this marathon when the marathon when the european championships come to your home country there's an extra motivation and it's a focus for the whole year and probably for longer than that actually there's uh, several fins up there with the leaders or auto we just saw and i would think uh, this early stage with six runners to start for each country and four to count in the european cup team competition the fins are pretty well placed yeah, the Finns certainly are pretty well placed, as are the Italians. And there's that leading group. You can count them as well as I can, but just behind that group, we can see the two Britons together, running together, and that's sensible. Both running well, Marion Sutton and Danielle Sanderson. The acclimatization has been a little bit difficult for the British athletes, but they've, they've looked as though they've coped with it quite well as the cameraman concentrates on the Finnish hope Lemitainen. A couple of Romanians up there with the leaders as well. Uh, number 40, Barbu, and number 41, Katuna. This is another area where they feel the heat. It gets trapped really by the buildings. You can almost feel the warmth coming off the buildings at midday yesterday. That's right, you can see it now. It is, there isn't any air circulating down here, and this is going to be hard when they go. They've got to go four times around this lap. One of the worst parts is they've got to pass the stadium four times and that means that if they're thinking about dropping out then that's a bit of a problem. And meanwhile we've got action in the stadium. <laughs> 